So this is, I actually had a bunch of conversations uh, about this recently with uh, a variety of network owners, people that are really big in this space. I, I don't know how the big networks that are very, they're big volume are going to, uh, are going to translate into a post ATT kind of iOS 14 world. Um, meaning that the, what's happening now going forward is a, a requirement that you need to have, um, both domain verification and pixel installation on the same domain, um, linked to your ad account, linked to your business manager for where you're driving traffic and where you'd like events to be passed back from, from Facebook. And so what that means is if you're driving traffic to a, um, you know, a, a third party domain that you, uh, don't have verified, there are going to be issues with that. So, um, so this is where things get tricky. And again, like I, I've, we work with, you know, Jumbleberry and Giddy Up are two partners we work with. And we were working with both of them on solutions and they both are, are coming up with, with solutions because they're, they're somewhat unique in the sense that there's kind of lower volume in terms of number of offers and number of affiliates. Um, and they also are, they own like Giddy Up owns a lot of their own offers. And then Jumbleberry is much more selective with who they let run traffic to the offers. And so they're coming up with solutions to work in this kind of uh, new world that Apple's put put everyone in, um, ClickBank, JVZoo, W4A4, I like, can on a list of all these affiliate networks. This isn't a shot at them; um, it's just a fact. I don't know what they're going to be doing. Um, I actually we're doing uh, training with ClickBank, and I, I'm speaking with them, so I actually probably have should have this conversation with them and, and talk more about it with them. Um, but as of right now. Uh, I'd imagine one of the issues tracking wise is that, is that like, even if you have your own authority site that you have verified and that's where you're driving the traffic to, but then the traffic clicks through to whatever the ClickBank offer page is and you have that pixeled, but you don't have that domain verified. Um, you're, you're not going to be able to, uh, pull that data back in. So. I don't know if that's the, the problem that you're encountering right now. It could be there. It's hard to say without seeing your ad account and seeing the setup and everything, um, what the the issue is. But I would just say at a, at a high level, kind of a macro level, that's going to be a big problem in the affiliate marketing world. So the the whole world of affiliate marketing is changing dramatically because of this, right? So if you're a big affiliate marketer on Facebook, the way you go about buying media and running offers is going to have to change. Um, you know, I, I, and this is just my opinion on this, right? This is not necessarily a, a, um, universal fact, but I see the trend moving more towards boutique performance marketing shops that have a few select offers and a few select performance partners, and they're able to work more in an agency like, uh, relationship where the compensation is performance. Right, like I think that, in my opinion, that's the uh, the ultimate setup for affiliate marketing. I know like affiliate marketing to me just has a negative connotation. I think performance marketing is really the the term that we use for for what we do. Performance marketing, um, you know, it's it's marketing that is compensated based on on your performance purely. Um, and so I think the the days of hey, I have this offer. And I'm going to throw up on a network that has thousands of other offers and they let, you know, tens of thousands of people run traffic to these offers. I just don't see that. Again, it, it may exist forever, but I don't see that being a, uh, a massive, um, uh, a massive profit generator for a lot of people in, in the future because of these changes, because it makes tracking really, really difficult. Now, sure. You can obviously track on the back end. You can use your own tracking software and you can you can see the data on the back end and you can use sub IDs, UTMs to understand you know, an ad level, ads level, campaign level where that sale came from. But if you're spending five, 10, $20,000 a day, right? It's gonna be a nightmare to manually do that type of stuff and to manually be managing. It's because you're not gonna have the visibility inside ads manager. 
Um, and then using rules and stuff, you're going to need to use r rules built into these ad tracking platforms. So it, I just don't be, see it being super scalable. Now, what we're doing is, you know, for Jumbleberry, for example, um, you know, there's three or four performance partners who work on these different big offers. And they're basically working to share the verified domain and share the pixel from that brand to those two, three partners who can then use that to run ads, right? So they can verify their authority domain. They can also verify the domain where the purchase is going to happen. And, um, and that allows them to, allows us to have visibility on the data. Now, again, you're still dealing with iOS 14 opt-outs. Right, so unless they opt in, doesn't, none of that even matters, right? But this is just for to have visibility into anything, um, let alone the the people that opt out. So I would be, you know, if, I, if I'm thinking about performance marketing and thinking about affiliate marketing in 2021 and beyond, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at either building deeper relationships with a lower volume of partners that are more selective, that you can build that that really great relationship where you can get the access and get that verification and everything. Um, and and that's, that's what I'd be looking at. Or looking at building a kind of front end brand um, where the acquisition on the lead and customer side is happening in your brand, in your ecosystem. And then you're using affiliate offers on the, um, on the back end to uh, to actually monetize and like further monetize them.